Hi, it's Lipstick Elle. Thanks so much for watching today. Let's talk January favorites. Now, I know this month is usually kind of hard because holidays are over. We kind of go into that blue January slump, but I always look forward to January because my birthday's in January. I turned 49 uh, earlier this month and I had the best birthday. So that was one of my favorites. And what my husband says, what do you want? I said, you know, honestly, I really don't need that much. He's like, do you want anything? You know, he was thinking makeup or jewelry. And I was like, I have, I have all the jewelry that I really can use right now. <laughs> I can't believe I said no to jewelry, but I also said, you know, I, I feel like I've been kind of getting everything that I need, especially beauty wise. So don't worry about that. Um, and I said, but you know, what would be kind of fun to do is to take the kids out um, to a fancy restaurant. <laughs> and so we did, we took the kids out to dinner and I said, I just want to be with the people that I love the most on my birthday. So it was my husband and my two teenagers and we had the best night out. We went to a place that, um, makes all of their pasta from scratch. Um, you know, homemade focaccia, you know, a burrata and beet salad. Like it was just fantastic, fantastic. So it was also kind of expensive. <laughs> but we had a great time. We had a wonderful, wonderful time. And um, it was the best way for me to celebrate my birthday. So other things that came into my life this month, um, one of them I purchased for myself and it's very similar to this. This is a beautiful um, kind of, well, it's not really cropped, but it's like a normal length cashmere cardigan. This is from Quince. Um, I loved the first one that I got, which was like the oversized boyfriend cardigan, which like comes down to like below my hips. I fell in love with that one so much in brown. I'll put a picture of it up for you that I was like, I need another one, but this one's too big. Cause like the more I wore it, the more it kind of stretched. And I was like, I got one in my regular size. I was like, no, 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 no. So then I sized down, but instead of getting the long one that was the boyfriend one, I got one that hits like right at the waist. And I was like, I'll take that one. And I got it in black. And my mom sent me that. That was what I asked her for for my birthday. So she sent me that. And then um, my best friend's like, what can I get you? I'm like, can you get me a gift card to Quince? <laughs> and so I picked this one up. Look, it's so cute. And, and what I like about it is, okay, so my husband keeps the house at like 68, maybe 70 in the wintertime. So we're always wearing layers. So I have like on black thermal plus a cashmere sweater. I'm always cold gonna happen it's gonna happen and um, I have like fuzzy house slippers that I wear I just refuse to be cold and so these are are just so comfy and warm but they don't like come up to here and I don't know I just feel like I'm wearing cuddly pajamas so I love this sweater and I like that the cashmere on quince is pretty affordable um, I tend to prefer like more like the cardigan for layering purposes but Fantastic. All right. Um, other non-beauty things. I got a new purse. Did I need a new handbag? No, no. Red is my favorite color. And I saw this purse and I kind of been looking for something that was a little bit bigger, that would hold a little bit more. Um, cause the last purse that I'd kind of been obsessed with was like teeny tiny. It's like about this big. And I was like putting like just small little things in there and trying not to overstuff it. So it still looked chic and elegant. Um, but it was getting a little banged up. I'd had it for a while. Um, so I swapped it out for this enormous monstrosity of a handbag. I love it. I love it. So it's red. It's got um, like the gold hardware on there. And I can put so much in there. I drove to Seattle and back yesterday to see a neuro-ophthalmologist. <laughs> um, and... I just put like, I had my iPad in there. I had my phone. I had a bonus charger. I had um, a bag of cosmetics. I had my wallet. I had a pair of sunglasses. I had a pair of eyeglasses. Like I had a book. <laughs> it was obscene how many things I had in that purse, but I love it. I love it. And I love that it's bright red and it just makes me happy. All right. Still in love with this. This is the great body relief from Crave. My skin has been so dry. This January, we've gone from temperatures like at like negative four for the high all the way up to like 45 degrees. It's been a really weird month. You know, it's been like a 50 degree swing in temps and my skin has just been freaking out on my body. And this is great. This is a hydrating kind of barrier cream. I, don't, I already have some on my hands, but it's kind of like a green color. 
Um, but when you rub it in, you don't really see it. But this helps to restore your skin barrier. And the tops of my legs, like the fronts of my legs, like on my shins, the air always comes up that way. And my wool socks only come up to just above my ankles. And then I'm wearing pants. And so it's just like whoosh, and the front of my legs get so dry. Also, my hands get really dry. And this stuff is great because it doesn't smell like anything. Um, and it's very hydrating. And it has special things in here. It has um, tamanu oil, rosehip oil, ceramides, fermented oils, squalane, and glycerin. And it, this really brings my skin back to a healthy place without being greasy. I can put this on before bed and get in bed and my sheets don't stick to me. This doesn't leave anything heavy and oily so I don't get it on my clothes if I put it on out of the shower. Um, and within 24 hours, um, I forgot for a while, I was running and busy and not paying attention and my legs got really chapped and angry and itchy and red and they were dry and they're starting to flake. And I was like, ah! And within 24 hours, everything was fine again. So this stuff is great, I love it. I've been on the hunt for like, the perfect sunscreen. I think we all of us all are. <laughs> and um, for many, many years, I've been using the one from Crave. Love that one. It's the Beat Shield or Beat the Sun. I don't remember what they're calling it right now, but it only is an SPF 40. Um, and that's after they reformulated. And I was like, you know what? I kind of want an SPF 50. So I tried the one from Beauty of Josen, their sun cream. I really like it. I like it a lot. Um, but then I was um, kind of scrolling through Instagram and I, I follow someone whose account is called Fitty Snails. <laughs> I'll, I'll link it for you here in the description box down below. But she's amazing and she does a lot of skincare review and her favorite sunscreen. And I've seen her talk about it and post about it empty after empty after empty and I never tried it was this. This is the Biore UV Aqua Rich. This is a Japanese sunscreen. This is a SPF 50 with a four plus PA rating. So it's the max that you can get at an SPF 50. Um, it has kind of like an interesting little squeezy thing going on here. I like this a lot. It's very lightweight, but you know what's really interesting about this? A lot of other sunscreens, this ends up, I'm very fair. So this ends up looking like nothing on me. Oh, I got it on my sweater. But what I like about this is the fact that it doesn't just leave my skin hydrated because it is hydrating. And I do have a beautiful kind of like dewy, bouncy glow to my skin after putting this on as my last layer of skincare. But once it dries down, it doesn't feel tight. It still feels really soft, but then it feels like I put on a primer, like a kind of like a smoothing primer. And my makeup goes on it so well. It wears so well. I feel like there's something in here that just makes whatever I put on over the top that much better. I, I kind of feel like I'm, I can forget about primer schmimer. Who needs that? I'm going to be using this. This has been really great. Me and the OG bomb.com, I stocked up uh, when they re-released it for the holidays. And now I finally, I was like getting down to the last couple of tubes. I finally restocked my house. There's one at the desk where I edit. There's one by my bedside. There's one on the table here. There's one in my purse. There's one in my crochet bag. There's one in the car. <laughs> like that's how I live with these things. And I was kind of like rationing them and keeping like telling my kids, <gasps> use something else. Because <laughs> it's my favorite lip balm. And now that I feel like I am not like running out. I was like, great, everyone can use it. But the only two flavors that I have are the hot cocoa and the cookie butter because that's what they had for holiday. But um, I like that they put it in the slant tip packaging because then I can just apply it, you know, with this thing. I think they're out of the cookie butter, what they have left right now. Because oh, I think I saw them and I was like, should I pick up more? I was like, you have six. I think you're good. Um, it, but it's just my favorite lip balm. Um, and I know it's kind of expensive at $14. And this is the OG formula with lanolin, with beeswax. Um, it's not the vegan version. And so I was like, you know, go ahead and get a ton of them. <laughs> and so I should be stocked up for the next year for me in lip balm. And here's hoping that every holiday Glossier decides to do something like that. All right. Um, this has been on the days that I'm not wearing foundation and I'm wearing this.
This is the Auric Glow Lust. I'm surprised that I'm like to the point here because like you need the smallest amount of this. This is also something that I have been using under foundation. It looks beautiful, but even just on its own because today I'm wearing this and you see how it has like a little bit of coverage to it. Not a lot, but there is some color to this. This is the lightest shade in Morganite. It's the perfect shade for my skin, but you can see the light that it brings. I've been wearing this and concealer. And my skin looks great because I only put the concealer where I need it and the rest of the glow on my skin is from this and me and this Natasha Denona concealer. Okay, so my 15 year old came in, she tried this and ran away with my tube so I had to get myself another tube. So she has the one that's like half gone <laughs> and I got myself a brand new tube but like these two things together have been beautiful on the skin. I have been still obsessed with this right here. This is the Givenchy Prisma Leave Powder. Beautiful. This is in the 03 shade Voile Rosé. It's like a whole bunch of pinks and I have it on under the eye and like right around the nose area. I love this. This stuff is just like a whisper of setting. It's not too heavy. Something else that I fell in love with this month, this. This is portrait mode. This is a new product from M Cosmetics. It is a pressed powder. It is sheer. It is beautiful. Another thing my 15 year old ran off with and I was like, no, I'm not getting another one for myself. Return it now. <laughs> so she's allowed to come and sit here at my vanity and to use any of the things. But I told her you can't take it to your room because the minute it crosses the threshold into your bedroom, you have then acquired it for your collection. And you can't do that with my things. Come and play with all the things you want here at my vanity, but do not run off with my things. But I have been loving this. I've had it for about a week and a half. And every time I can't find it, I have to go and ask my 15 year old, Ava, where's my portrait mode? We've been obs obsessed, obsessed. Now, the reason that I like this is it looks like nothing. And it's a pressed powder. Normally pressed powders can look really heavy on my 49 year old skin. This one is beautiful. It also has this little teeny tiny, I feel like I'm gonna break it because it's so skinny, um, this little puff that comes in here. And it's supposed to help make sure you're not getting too much product. But I like being able to just, you know, like boop, 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 boop. It looks great under the eye. That surprised me. So yesterday as I was, um, driving to Seattle to see the neuro ophthalmologist. I should have gotten up when my alarm went off and I was like, oh, the sheets are warm, I'm comfortable. So I only had half an hour to shower, do my hair, brush my teeth, take my kids to school and get on the road. And it's a five hour drive from my house to Seattle. So I threw a whole bunch of things in a bag. This was one of them. Um, also took these guys. These made the most beautiful effortless skin. Loved it. Super, super easy. All right, so love the new portrait mode from M. Still obsessed with this. This is the makeup by Mario, the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. Man, I love this. Mine, you can see mine's getting a divot right here. This is great. I'm wearing it today. It is the cream bronzer that's not too heavy. I'm always fearful that whatever bronzer I put on is gonna be too much. It's gonna be too warm. It's gonna look too much like I'm you know, trying to be what I'm not. And I feel like this brings just the right amount of warmth without being too much. And for a fair person, especially somebody with older, more mature skin, I need a little bit more hydration. Bingo, love this. Another thing I can't stop using, another M product. This is their Pillow Plush Blush. And this one is in uh, Peanut. You see like the giant divot here in the middle. I have been going to town on this. I also did take the time, I see that I, didn't fully clean it up to clean up the edge because it was like this shade was like like this everywhere. <laughs> I have been using this so much since it arrived. I do like the one in Tickled, which is the cool tone, but me and Peanut, I'm a obsessed. And I can use my fingers. I can use a brush. They do have a little puff that I, somewhere around here, but I either use fingers or a brush and it's so easy. It's like stupid easy. All right. Um, I've been kind of skipping highlight a lot because I you know, have the Auric Glow Lust down. But on the days that I do want some highlight, I want it to look really soft and natural. Um, I saw myself the other day in a photo where I was wearing a powder highlight that was a little on the dry side. And I felt like all it did was accentuate my um, crow's feet. And I was like, oh no. So what I've kind of been opting for is this guy right here. This is the Flight 70 Just Like Heaven Glow Back Lucent Light 
highlight. It's a cream highlighter. Now I know creams are not for everybody and this is specifically made for mature skin. I think there's two shades of this. At first you'll feel like, did I put anything on? It, but it's right here and it's just enough to look like, and I, I have it on, <laughs> I, I put a lot of it on, um, just enough to look like you've got a glow, but there's no shimmer, there's no glitter, there's no sparkle, it's just light. There is a little bit of reflectivity, you can see it, but it's not like like the Rare Beauty ones where it's like, bing, like you could signal ships from space. Um, it's, it's not like that, but it does make my skin look a little bit more alive and a little bit more luminous without looking crazy and without bringing attention to like these crow's feet here. I feel like, you know, I have them. They're not like, it doesn't like erase them, but it doesn't instantly make it go, look at all this dry skin here that's lost elasticity. This is actually really great and I like it a lot. I have been definitely in the let's do less in the eye department. So some days I will use like, one eyeshadow, like a single over the eye, out the door. On those days, I'll either open up a palette and pick one kind of metallic shade, or I'll use one of these guys. These are both from Moira. This is the Moira Shadow Pots. I have three of these. I was wearing these in my previous video, but these colors are so beautiful. This one, by the way, is called Literally. Um, and so what I do is, cause I, you know, I wanna do it all really quick and really fast. I'll take a little bit on my finger, I'll rub it into my eyelid, I'll throw on a little whisper of mascara, and I'm out the door. I also like this. This is one of their um, Lucent Cream Shadows. This is the shade Juniper. Another one where I'll, you know, take a little bit of it. It's got a really fun duochrome to it. Swipe it over the eye, and I'm out the door. <laughs> like, I really have been keeping things super minimal this month. Um, unless I'm, you know, like when I went out for my birthday dinner, I did a little bit more. Um, when I shoot a video, I do a little bit more. But like on the days, if you were to bump into me at the grocery store, picking up my kids from school, you know, running errands around town, um, at the acupuncturist, I'm wearing one eyeshadow, if that. And it's usually something really easy. Another thing that has really slipped easily into my eye makeup kind of routine this month has been this. This is the Viseart Pedophore and Praline Epice. I love this. I'm wearing this today. I like how it's not too much and it's just enough. I like that we've got this cooler tone here. This is not terribly warm, but we do have some warmth down and through here. So I could really pile these on and, you know, get a little bit more um, sparkle on the lid. So if you really wanted more, you know, you could definitely build. So I guess I'm doing that now, but um, I like it when it's kind of like just barely there. The other thing that I like about these is I don't feel like these metallics bring texture to my 49 year old eyelid. Same with these guys here from Moira. Um, I feel like this one sometimes towards the end of the day, I might have a few little rogue sparkles. This one doesn't budge. I feel like the ones from Viseart are great. They don't bring any additional texture. I don't get any fallout from these. They're beautiful. I'm really, really going for super easy eyes. And if I happen to decide to wear eye makeup, those are the sorts of things I've been pulling for this month. I also have been really, really loving like a gel pencil. So I have been back into the ones from Make Beauty. These are the Continuum Eyeliner. Um, this one here is in the brown shade called Nebula. Still really loving the one size point made gel liner in Busty Brown. Me and my brown eyeliners, like don't take them from me. You can't have them. I saw that Persona, I love the Persona 24-7 waterproof eye pencil. They released new shades. I was like, oh. it's like you have too many eyeliners. Don't buy any more right now. But I was like, I love the Persona formula. I have two of those. Love them so much. All right, something else that easily fits into my hardly want to do any eye makeup mode. This, I've never had one of these before. This is the Chameleon Color from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the shade um, Pillow, <laughs> Pillow Dog. It came in a duo in my Lucky Bag this year. This is what it looks like. I mean, come on. They're all really light. They're sparkly. They blend easily. You know, you can put it on your lid, blend it out, throw on a little mascara, call it good. Now, if you want to do a little bit more, you can. I have been liking the other one that is in Pillow Talk Deep. This is a matte shade. 
and it's so pretty. Um, but I used it the other day as just as eyeliner, like right across the lash line, and I smudged it out with a pencil brush and put on mascara. I mean, like there's so many ways to use these. These have surprised me, and I know they're not new. They've been around for a while, but this little duo pack here has made me really feel like, okay, I want to do a little something, but not too much. It's an easy way to get kind of an elevated eye look without really even trying. For mascara this month, I've either been using either, <laughs> either, <laughs> either been using the lash extender from e.l.f. or it's me and uh, Mr. Big from Lanco. I'm wearing Mr. Big today. I was wearing this yesterday. This is what I put on before I went into my appointment. I don't know why I put on eye makeup yesterday. And this is the only thing I put on. Um, so I'm at the neuro ophthalmologist and I know they're gonna have to like put in numbing eye drops. I know they're gonna have to put in like drops to dilate my eyes and I, blinking and tearing and and I put this on but I, I thought you know if anything let me put a tubing formula on so that if it if I you know cry so much and it comes off then I don't have like smears everywhere if this was the perfect thing so um you know before I got in there I had a couple hours of time where I look like myself with eyelashes and I love this this I think is perfect for somebody who's looking for an affordable tubing formula that washes off easy this is going to give you length it's not going to give a ton of volume um, I like that um, the little teeny tiny bristles on here, they kind of find every hair like on the inside corner or on the outside corner or the bottom. This formula washes off no problem. It's so, so, so nice. But this is more like my everyday or my just a whisper of mascara, mascara. Now on the days where I want more, still in love. Like Monsieur Big came out in 2017 and guess who's still using it all the time. I have several backups. Me and Mr. Big will not be parted anytime soon. I've had a really hard time having a favorite lip this month <laughs> because I've been trying a ton, a ton of luxury lipsticks. I will leave my luxury lipstick video for you here where I try on 18 um, and link in the description bar down below um, that same video. But I also did another video, I think last week, where I was trying on 60 ones. Um, a package arrived recently, I haven't tried on, the Sicily that came. I also have a Byredo, um, an Hermes, and a couple of La Rouge Bouche lipsticks coming, or La Bouche Rouge. I forget if it's French, I don't speak French. <laughs> um, but more, um, and, and then I told myself, no more, no more, no more, no more. No more lipsticks, um, but I'm, I'm excited. So when I get the other ones in, I'll do one more round, and then we're gonna start looking at like, breaking things down into luxury lipstick categories. I would love to know, how do you want me to group them? I was thinking about grouping them by brand. And then I thought, well, what if I group them by formula, like matte lipsticks, satin lipsticks, um, kind of glossy lipsticks or sheer kind of balm situations. And I was like, I don't know. Um, let me know what your thoughts are. Um, somebody also asked for color. I think that would be fun because do you know how many matte red lipsticks there are? Here's where I also want to know. Do you want me to lip swatch everything that I have? Like I have a ton of Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. Do you want me to lip swatch all the mattes for you when I'm doing a matte? Like I want to know what you want to see. What's going to be the most helpful for you. The reason I'm doing this is so that I can spend my money that is from my beauty budget, from the YouTube ads and the links that people use, um, to buy things and try them to tell you about so that when you go out, you don't have to buy as many as I do. You're just like, this is the one formula that I want. And then you find the shade that works for you. Or this is the one type of lipstick that I want. And then, you know, maybe three or four things that you can hunt around for and then decide. My goal is to help you narrow the field so that you don't have to do all of this crazy research and spend so much money on luxury lipsticks. Okay, long way around the bush there for me to tell you is that it's been hard for me to have favorites this month because I've been trying so much. I'll make sure to tell you more about these during the luxury lipstick series. But these are the ones that I can't stop reaching for. One that is kind of turned into like my chapstick is this. This is a Dior Addict lipstick. And uh, this is a beautiful brown. This is the shade 716 um, and stunning. And, and it's funny because it, it looks like it's so dark here or even kind of reddish, but it is the prettiest brown. I wore this all day yesterday and I kept putting this on like lip balm. 
um, this lasts a couple of hours, but I, I just kept applying it, applying it, applying it. I'm sitting there, you know, driving five hours one way and I had it within reach in the cup holder so I could just keep swiping it on like every hour or so because it felt so good. But I like it when it's like really shiny and heavy like this, like freshly applied. And I also like when it gets to this point where it's kind of thinned out. Some of the hydration has sunken in, but the color is still there. This is gorgeous. I'm really glad I picked up this shade. This feels like an everyday luxury lipstick that I just wanna keep in my pocket. This one's fantastic. Here's another one that has kind of been like that for me. And uh, it's a Chanel lipstick. This is the Rouge Coco in the shade 434. This one is called Mademoiselle, and that's one swipe of it. You see, what we have going on here is that they're really pretty neutrals. This one's a little bit more mauve leaning. This one's a little bit more brown leaning, but they're not really heavy. They're really super sheer, and that's what I like. These, I don't have to worry. I can pull these out. I've been wearing lipstick since I was 14, you know? Like, that's pff, how many years? 35 years of wearing lipstick, and I can put these on because they're not high-maintenance colors, like a, a deep purple color or like a bright red that's like totally opaque because there's a little sheerness to these because there's a little bit of gloss to both of these lipsticks I can put these on without a mirror and they just make my lips feel fantastic and they're really low maintenance and that's what I want when I'm not testing a lipstick because I've been testing a ton here's the other one and I hate to tell you this Prada lipstick I'm wearing it today with a lip liner. This is the first time I've paired it with a lip liner. And if you're curious, I have it on, wait, that's not the one, <laughs> let me find it. With a super inexpensive, affordable lip liner. This is the Shockwave LA Girl <laughs> lip liner. Um, and this one is in the shade Gingerbread. This is like under $5. And this is $50. This is the Sheer Matte Formula from Prada. And this is the shade Tiepolo. Oh my goodness. It's stunning. It's beautiful. It's sheer. It's hardly anything. Um, both my 15 year old and I kind of fell in love with this. A lot of the color I'm getting here is from the lip liner. Okay. I know that, but I have been throwing this on like lip balm. This doesn't last like forever, but it feels so good going on. Every time I put another layer of it on, the color doesn't get terribly deep because like this is it. This is it. What you're seeing here is mostly this, but the formula of this feels so good. Um, it does feel hydrating. It doesn't dry my lips out, but I find that it doesn't last terribly long. If you're looking for a long-term like matte lipstick, I feel like this one here, the fact that it's the sheer matte, um, that kind of lightweight matte means that, you know, it's not gonna be there forever, but it feels really good. It feels like I'm wearing a cream lipstick. I I hate to say it, but I love this $50 lipstick. All right, there we go. Those are my favorites. Some clothing, um, a handbag, a new sunscreen, some, some old favorites that you've heard about. Oh, here's the last thing. <laughs> this is silly. <laughs> so I realized that my 13 and 15 year old had never had a Pez dispenser. I was like, what? criminal. I'm the worst parent ever. So we went hunting for Pez dispensers and it was just before Christmas. And, um, <laughs> I, I told them about all the Pez dispensers I'd had as a kid and how much I loved it. My favorite ones were the Muppet ones that I had. And they were like, what? So I bought myself a Miss Piggy Pez dispenser. And then I got two pounds of Pez <laughs> So my kids and I are, are like up to our eyeballs in Pez. And every time they pull it out, they kind of giggle. One of them has a reindeer. One of them has a snowman. Somebody else has a Pokemon. Like we've got Pez dispensers all over the house. This one's mine. This one lives in my new red purse or on my desk here. But it just reminds me that um, life is short not to enjoy every moment. And it's okay to be a kid and love fun and silly things and sweets. So there you go. All right. I want to know what has been the best part of your month. What new book are you reading? 
um, what new show are you watching, um, what sort of beauty products have you been obsessed with, um, do you have like a comfort meal that you're eating all the time because it's cold outside and you're just like, I just want it to be warm and toasty. Let me know what you're doing, what you're loving. It doesn't have to be makeup related. It could be anything at all. Want to know what your favorites were this month. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have an incredible week and I will see you again soon.